Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Friday, May 31st, 2013. Congratulations on making it through the week, even though it was only a short one. And congratulations on making it through May. Please find a seat on the Liberty Bus and we will be in our tour. So yes, it's nearly June. And one thing that I don't have on the tour is the fact that it is being said that Obama is planning to sign the UN uh, Small Arms Treaty on June 3rd. There's probably going to be a lot going on. I, I think that as people are becoming aware, Bilderberg, the people who talk about the Bilderberg meeting have more credibility and more people are going to be asking questions and wondering what's going on. So, yeah, this is coming up next week. Alex Jones is planning to go. David Icke is planning to be there. And it sounds like it's going to be a show. Uh, it's in England, so, you know, obviously not easy for people in the U.S. to get there. But I'm sure that... Just the convergence of, you know, yeah, Bilderbergs, they're cool, but the convergence of all the Liberty people who are going to be there covering the Bilderberg meeting is probably going to hold more interest for most of us than the actual Bilderberg meeting, so that's cool. But, you know, we'll probably be hearing a lot over the next week or so about the Illuminati and I think we'll have to filter what we hear. Some of it will be intentional disinfo. And I'm, you know, I read, I read Carrie Cassidy. I'm, it's not, you know, I don't often put things up from her. And I really take these videos with a grain of salt. She had the Super Soldier Conference. This one is pretty weird, and I say I pretty much discount it. Uh, she seems like she's, she believes she's telling the truth, but, you know, whether she's a mind control person or, I, I don't know. I, I'm not completely discrediting that video. I'm just saying I took it with a large grain of salt. And, you know, if you decide to listen to these, we all process things for ourselves. This is the one that I actually watched all the way through, and I, I did not believe most of this. Again, I believe that the men who are super soldiers who are speaking believe what they're saying, but when someone's under mind control, you, you, know, you can't really take what they're saying at face value, even if they appear to not be lying, because they are a created persona. And whoever created that persona intended for you to walk away with a certain idea or impression. And so they crafted what the person said to impact you that way. This interview may not be for everyone. It contains some rather shocking point blank, blank statements by super soldiers who are freely admitting that they are in service to the Fourth Reich and are operating as assassins. There is no doubt that this is some kind of statement from one faction of the Cabal to a faction of the Rothschilds and to the world at large. I believe it would be safe to say no interview of this nature has ever taken place in quite this uncensored way and been made public. You know, yeah, it's uncensored by the people who filmed it, but the flow of information that the mind control super soldiers gave, I'm quite sure is very carefully censored. So there are things that can be learned from watching this, but I would be very careful not to let it into my spirit and not to accept what's being stated as truth. And this, this guy also spoke at the super soldier conference that Kerry Cassidy had. Now here's, whenever I see Kerry Cassidy in here, Arizona is involved in something, I wonder 
are we seeing actors saying all the right things to the internet awakened uh, us who are either awake or swimming with a hook in our mouths we aren't quite aware of yet so I have not listened to this I, I like as I said I did watch the all of the super soldier video and about a third of the other one uh, Evidently, this, this guy's for real, and he has some good things to say. I think I'm bringing this all up mostly just to say th that there is a lot of information out there. And, you know, I've actually repeated this over and over again. Filter, filter, filter. It's very difficult at times to know what's going on. If information is too dark, you can probably discount it. And information is, if information is too optimistic, you, could probably, you know, maybe that's, you could go at it that way, that take a piece out of the center. But it's, these are very difficult times to navigate. And if you have friends that you can discuss these things with, so much the better. Here's something, you know, an aspect of the Illuminati that we really don't need to question. No one will hold Henry Kissinger accountable. I mean, it's possible that someone will. I think this is kind of a cry for help. But the skullduggery of Henry Kissinger is well known, but little has been done about it. You know, there are some of these people who are just out there in the open, and it's well known and documented their crimes against humanity. But for whatever reason, we just they, they just continue to move through their lives unimpeded. And I'm hoping that will change. It's not that I want vengeance or punishment or judgment. I just want the, the people who intend evil to be moved out of the way so that the rest of us can get on with our lives. And in contrast to some of the more confusing aspects of the Illuminati, this interview with Aaron has been dead of cancer for some years now. This interview is just a little over three minutes, but if you've never heard Aaron's or watched any of the videos with Aaron, this this is a good this is a good beginning. You can kind of get to know him, and then if you if you enjoy hearing him speak, which I'd be very surprised if you didn't, you can look for more v videos of him. And the extended version of this one, I believe it's on YouTube. So he he was a man who was. You know, I think he was slightly involved in like borderline mafia activities and was success a successful producer in Hollywood, produced Trading Places and The Rose and I think some other films. And he was approached by the, by the Rockefellers and invited to join in their exclusive group. And as he was being invited he was asking questions and learned about the dark agenda and just said you know I don't share your hatred for humanity basically I'm not interested so he's he's been of a folk hero and and listening to him talk about his invitation to join is really an easy way to in a simple way to understand what these people are about and you know you don't have all the hocus pocus scary whatever <laughs> you know so it's easy to be, if you're a sensitive person it's easy to get freaked out by some of what the Illuminati does and, and what Aaron talks about is just a kind of more of a surface aspect of how they deal with things financially and how they want to Submarine mankind, I guess that's really not that light. It's kind of heavy, but lighter than some things you might come across. Now, I have this video. Uh, this is the nightly news, and uh, Andrea Lalama was on Alex Jones yesterday and on the nightly news last night. She is the lady who had her Facebook account suspended because she posted photos of autistic children stating that they basically were autistic because of Monsanto. So, understandably, Monsanto would be upset by that. However, you know, if something is proven true, you cannot be accused of libel. So, 
obviously it is true and it is provable and Andrea has a website that I visited and found really interesting if you know anyone who has autistic children they might find some of this very helpful and very encouraging and you know when we find people whose lives have been negatively impacted by these this intentional evil that goes on in our country and in the world that's really I mean it's, it's not that you're without compassion but if, if you can if that's an opportunity where you can show someone how they've been taken advantage of and how they can prevent that from happening to others in the future that's really just a way to move the ball down the field and you know people always want to cry out to God why has this happened well most of the time it wasn't God who did it it was some person so you know it's not God who makes children autistic and I came across this this video this is uh, more along the line back to the Bilderberger idea blockheads one through nine and this this guy made this series for the Paul Revere Infowars contest and I watched just part of this first one it is excellent and it is a nine part series they're not real long you know just a few minutes each but he he explains how the cabal wants to break the world down into manageable pieces that are not you know really the nations lose their significance and I just found this interesting billionaire and ex-Mexican president announced plans to open retail <laughs> marijuana stores around the world these people are taking our ideas you know all the liberty ideas anything that, that, that might perhaps they can make money on they're they're gonna grab it and you know the idea of Google giving people free websites uh, they're going to they're going to get any new business idea that somebody has and you know you might not have the money to develop it but Google will find somebody who does and you know all all the good ideas that we put out there are probably going to be stolen and twisted and packaged and sold back to us so you know hopefully we'll get some financing before long and be able to make some of this stuff happen on our own complaint filed against Nestle in Colombian trade unionist death stop Nestle's terrorism boycott Nestle Nestle is one of the companies on that list that's put out that supports GMOs and uh, not a fair trade company. Discovery of Monsanto GMO wheat threatens U.S. exports. Co countries who have been shipped grain from the states are burning it, sending it back, destroying it. Uh, we're, it's really going to damage our ability to have successful agriculture in this country the, the, these GMOs you know they plant a test crop in some field somewhere and oops it impacts the neighboring fields and really th this this needs to stop for the good of American agriculture for the good of all of us for the good of pe the people of the earth and we have the power to stop giving them money by not buying products that they're involved with. So let's see if we can find some good news. <laughs> it's, it's been rough this week finding good news. Panic attacks, anxiety linked to low vitamin B and iron levels. If you've ever known anybody who has panic attacks, it's, it's just a very tragic moment in life and usually they go on and you know, people can be in a season where they're having difficulties, and uh, it's just, it's, tr you can have different triggers. But the good news is you can raise your vitamin B and iron levels. So that's one way to deal with them. Of course, you know, you can also meditate, and uh, there are a lot of ways to just change your perspective in life to be more more positive more optimistic but there's sometimes is a physical aspect too so it's important to address that 
Fish oil fats protect brain against damage caused by a junk food diet. These oils are helpful in removing toxins from the body and consuming fish or fish oil supplements supports normal hormone release after a junk food meal. You can it, it helps to stabilize you. It's, you know, good fats can really protect your body. And I've also read that if you are in a situation where you're eating a meal that's not that good for you, if you eat an avocado at the same time, it, it can kind of help you. It can lessen the impact on your body. The tour of the day is a presentation of She Who Will Walk in the Dark Productions. And thanks for joining us in today's tour. The weekend is coming, of course, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Of course, also, the dawn is coming. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.